Beepers, beepers, history seekers, and this week it's the daytime. daytime. What is going on? I said that other day, didn't I? In yeah. video, I need, need sunlight instead of being a vampire. Yeah, exactly. And we've got it. We've done it, and for a change, we're not actually going in the house today, are we? No. So it's something completely different. Totally different, and it's round the back. Now I've seen a little bit from sort of Google Maps from above, yeah. but other than that, I have no idea what's in store. It's more of an explore for you, yeah, because you love stuff like this. Me, not as bothered, but you know I what? I hope you enjoy it. I think I will because I enjoyed the other one that was similar. Without giving away what we're yeah. doing, I enjoyed the other one that was similar to this. Well, you enjoy it as well. Yes. Something different. Exactly. If you don't, let us know. If you don't like it, you won't get yeah, it. Yeah, tell us. Tell us what sort of stuff you like. Because if you do like stuff like this, then 100% will make him happy and make you happy. It's not I don't mind if you do it every now and then. Don't matter about me. And also, we've got Shaking Bear with a camera. So I'm hoping we get some footage for the for his channel. If you're not subscribed to Beeper Bear, get across. I will put a link down in the description. Get across and subscribe. I want to get him up to 10,000 subscribers as soon as possible. It'd only be fair to get Bear on 10K. It'd be fair to get Bear. <laughs> right, let's get in and get looking round. Not in the house though. Let's go around the back. This way. Right, it's really weird being out at this time of day. It's not being cold. It's that wind. It's got a bit of a breeze. You're always cold, but we've got to be careful because we've got an house right there and there's one bang at the opposite side as well. Now, we have been told that potentially there was nobody in, in these houses, but there's cars parked outside, so definitely is 100%. Anyway, let's have a look. Now, it looks like at some point part of it's been sort of partially cleared, but it seems like they've stopped work on it again. Yeah. inside it and it's full of concrete and bricks and all sorts of insulation and stuff. yeah exactly it's a beautiful day i know it's a bit chilly but it's a beautiful day today isn't it at least it's sunny yeah yeah exactly because we had some great rain yesterday as well didn't we yeah proper banged it down so hopefully it shouldn't be too bad what are you looking for bear are you finding those rabbits look just to give you an idea of what's inside here and why it's not worth looking in as you can see, there's not a great deal. It's just empty rooms. So we're not even gonna make the effort for that. What we wanna see is in this building and behind this building. So let's go and have a look now. Right, you can see something already. Look in here. This is amazing and I'm not into cars, you know I'm not, but look at this, talk about Barn finds. People go mad for barn finds. Barn finds. You see them all the time on Facebook. Barn find this, barn find that. But these are like something a little bit special by the looks of things. Now at the moment, I'm I'm at the wrong side. You get squeezing down there. It could be a bit of an issue with your gel bag now, isn't it? <laughs> it's so tight. It's gonna be more of an issue with him getting stuck underneath stuff with his camera on. How come you get priority over me, Bear? And over you, by the looks of things. <laughs> oh, look, so I'm guessing some, this is some of the stuff out of the house as well. Looks like it. All the old chairs and things, and a little old bike. What, what is that? What's that car there? What's the logo on it? In fact, I don't recognize any of these. That's an old, I think that's an old Ford Popular. A Ford Popular? Yeah, I think so. But like, no, but oh God, this is awkward, isn't it? Because you can't get through to anything. So, Walt, is it a Walsley? A Wal what the hell is a Walsley? A Walsley or Walsley. Yeah, but what is, do they not make these anymore? No. And what's that big gun thing on the front of that one? <laughs> it looks like, yeah. <laughs> what, pedestrians? <laughs> Get out of the way. Oh. <laughs> I'm going right to the I'm side. Good noise, by the way. <laughs> Did you used to do that round the playground at school? Yeah, but, hey, you're stuck again. <laughs> God, this camera's gonna get. 
It doesn't matter, it's a GoPro. We've got about 12 of those cameras. If it gets absolutely smashed up, it doesn't matter. Right, I'm gonna go around the other side. Right, you don't understand what it's just taken to get from there. Right, right. <laughs> like squeezing up the sides, aren't we? There's just no room. But have you seen this? It was so worth it. That is so good, it I like that. It old duck and feet him. A duck and feet, right, you, it's like you're speaking a foreign language. It used to be a kit car. Years right. and years ago, I went, when I was into like cars and stuff, and you made it yourself. I know what a kit car is, Yeah, you tit. You just, it's um, like Ikea for cars. Yeah, you just bought the body and stuff and put your engine in it. Oh yeah. Yeah, because you used to get them and like you put a Ferrari engine in a car that were like the size of a P, yeah. and it went a million miles an hour. You know, VW engines in them and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, and Ford engines. But I'm Do sure you remember, was... I'm sure there were a Mini with a plane engine in it that were on the news once. <laughs> I'm going to have to try and find it. I'm sure I saw something when, like back in the 90s where somebody had done it. Yeah. But what is, what? so you reckon it's a kit car then? I think it's a kit car, yeah. It is good. I'd like that myself. I think that'd clean up nice. Road trip. Oh yeah, imagine oh, getting herself off. It would. With the, if you've got a proper thingy, roof, yeah. you can put well, back. Right. Yeah, if anybody, in fact, before I do, it looks like a plane, that. I don't know what, oh, it says on the front here. Yeah. It's a Ford. Yeah. Re reduct. <laughs> a Ford Viaduct. A Ford Reduct. Have a look. You have a look. It says Ford. It's like the Ford badge is not a Ford badge. It's a Ford Reduct badge. I don't know. Just go and have a look. Just look. He's just stand there though. Yeah, but it's a big enough badge. Surely you can see it. Can you even see the badge? I can see the badge. Are your oh. knees all right to get you down there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't read that. What do you mean you can't read it? Right. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Shift out my way. Yeah, hang on. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I was coming to. No, I weren't coming to light it up. I was coming to take a photo of it so you could see it close up. I've got no idea. Let me just go back down it's again. It's not like the normal Ford badge, is it? No, that's what it's I meant. Like, like a lion kite mark from fucking eggs. <laughs> from eggs. I know exactly what you mean as well. Right, wait with it. Oh no, I'm on the wrong thing here. Me. Well, you can take some photographs, yeah, but take them when we've done. Oh. Take them when you've look. This is why, because you'll be just stood like this for twenty-five minutes Very taking long. photographs. So anyway, let's yeah. have a look at this yeah. picture. <laughs> it's such a girl. It's such a girl. It's not even that cold. Look, this is the logo. Yeah, and it says Ford. Ruduct. Is it Ruduct or P I U D? Product. Product? Product. Ford product. <laughs> it says it. A Ford product made in England. That badge is weird though. I've never seen a Ford badge like that. No. That is really I'm sure strange. Henry Ford didn't make that. Well, clearly he did. Well, not personally. No, he wouldn't have been in his garage like this. <laughs> All together. What do you reckon? Is it 50s, this? Oh, it's got to be, at least. Like, the little sun visor on the outside. It's like you'd see in Back to the Future. Yeah. What is he doing? All I can hear that um, camera <laughs> scraping. <laughs> He's an idiot. So, yeah, that's a Ford. What did we say this that one was? was a wolf. Oh, it says it on the front. So, let's look at the badge on here. Ow! Oh, yeah. Wolvesley. That's quite cool, that. What are they called? Hood ornaments? Is it a hood ornament? They are. Have you had a stroke? Number. Yeah. I'm sure they're called hood ornaments. This one in front, which you said you knew what the name of it I was. I thought this were a Ford Popular, but I'm not sure now. It makes me think of, oh, what were they called in Catch the Pigeon? Oh, not Catch the Pigeon. Um, that's the Glee Motley. No, but there was the Summit, Summit Gang. And they were all... They had... Stop worrying about Bear. He's fine. He's next door. He's not. I can hear him. Where is he? Back in again. Right. He's been here all this time. Wacky racers. Wacky racers. But there was some... They were like... Um, with guns uh, from the time with the no alcohol in America. 
what are they called? Like gangster types. Yeah. They were gang and they had a car like this, but I can't remember what they were called. Some gang, some gang. I can't think. Oh look, we've got number plates on some of them. So we can probably work out when they're from. Yeah. J A W four two two. I don't know. I know the prefix and affix or whatever it is, but I don't know what when that's from. No idea. This has got an eight up front. An eight? On the actual thing, it says number eight, so it works a Ford eight. A Ford eight? Looks like it's been in a fire, that one. I'm sure it's Ford. Don't you think it looks like it's... Been... Oh, look at the wheels on it as well. What? I know, it's really, really old, this one. Is that wood there just to hold it together, though? I don't know. Is that, that one there? I know what that one is, for definite. So I can tell you what that is. Oh, I... Makes me think of going for picnics, that one. I can't remember what it's... From Morris Minor Traveller. Yeah, I've seen that one before, like... Love, love them. Oh, and they're worth a fortune. Are they? Yeah. What is he doing? He's <laughs> stuck under there. <laughs> what are you doing, Bear? What are you doing? Are you coming out? Come on, then. Come on, then. <laughs> you idiot. This is where these, these camera's just going to be like at funny angles. Footage is going to be hilarious to this. I don't know if there's somebody about, you know. I can keep hearing noises over there. Noises next door, I ain't bothered. Yeah, that's fine. Right, let's hear it then. I'll start shooting again, innit? Oh, is it? I think so. Oh, that's all right. Right, we'll make our way a bit further down here and have a look at some of these. I'm just going to try and fit down this bit and then come back to you over that side. Stay down there. Right, so this is inside. Did you say you knew what this one was? What's up with you? It's not over there. If there was something there, Bear would, Bear would see it and hear it. I don't know what this one is now. It says on there. What's it say on the, on the steering wheel? I can't see can't from see. here. Just can you put that up close to it? You don't need to take your gloves off to do it. It's a, is it a dog? Looks like a dog from here, though. Oh, I'm not sure. But it might say on the front, but the one next to it, oh yeah, it's got a number eight on it. And nothing on the front. Wow. It's a, it's a Talbot. A Talbot? It says, oh, it says it here. Sunbeam Supreme. Sunbeam Talbot 90. Yeah, some Supreme Sunbed Talbot. Sunbed. Sunbed. <laughs> what was it supposed to be? Sunbeam. Sunbeam. Does it outside of here? Does it? Plastic, yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, it says it there as it's well. There. Yeah. I just wonder how much money's worth of cars there are in here. Like, if you sold them all off individually to people that knew what they were doing, it'd be an absolute fortune. Oh, this, this one you were looking in. Ah! It's got a thing on the front there. I did miss it. It's a Morris. Is it? Morris 8. A Morris 8? Yeah. Not... Ford Pop, then. It's got the same shape as a Ford Popular. I, d I wouldn't know. Like, when were they driving on, about? On, on Model T Ford. Surely they weren't driving about in your lifetime, no, were they? No, before mine. So, like, 50s? Probably earlier. 40s? Model T Fords, probably 30s, 40s, yeah. Really? That's mad. See, I don't know anything about cars, but I do... I do find it interesting to think who was driving in them and when, do you know what I mean? That's Why mad. Why did you have all this lot? I don't know, because there's loads. We've not even seen a quarter of what's in here. And from what I can see on Google Maps, there's a hell of a lot more stuff outside. Loads outside, yeah. So That interests me, that van. Yeah, we'll get over to there in a minute. But it's these, these, this one behind, God, you can't turn round. There's like... Bits of car on the floor down here. But this one behind is pristine. Like a lot of them are a bit... <laughs> He's just climbing He's through just your legs. Like, I just passed you like you got to go shift. <laughs> yeah, most of them are in like a bit of a tatty condition like these. But this one behind me, full leather seats. All the dash and everything. I don't know if you can... Oh, you can look. Look at this. It's in beautiful condition. It smells lovely in here as well. There's not very much room though. 
There's no like. Well, seats are thick, you couldn't, you couldn't move the seats. There's no central bit though. The seats are right up next to each other. Oh, just one long seat. Yeah. Can you get round the front and come round to this passenger side, and I'll get in the driver's side if I can. Right. So Andy can't get in, but if you look how close you are to this next seat and the dials and stuff on it, it looks like it's only done three thousand four hundred miles. I don't know what is that a choke? What's a choke for? It's uh, put more fuel in than air. It puts more fuel in than air. Yeah. What does that mean? Put more fuel in. You know what? I don't think anyone can hear you. Yeah. Now spend five minutes walking back round and come to this door. <laughs> I can stay. Like purpose, Come on, keep coming. <laughs> Be careful. Come on, hurry up. If it weren't for this fucking girl bag, I'd be all right. Right, so you were telling me. Yeah. What What were you saying about the... A lot of, a lot of the older oh, cars. Really, but I'm not really that bothered, to be yeah. fair. Come on, you can tell me, you can tell me. Up, you know. Go on. A lot of the older cars used to have a manual choke, we used to pull it out. My camper van, 1970 odd, had a manual well, choke. you should know what it works for then. Yeah, but I can't remember, it's a long time since I drove it. Yeah, it used to, put, it used to restrict the air going and put more fuel to start it up. Why would I know what it was for? I just used to know that I had to pull it at a certain time. <laughs> you don't time. even know how to use your own car. Well, yeah, I know. What is he doing? I can just I've got no in. idea. Literally, he's, he's gone mad. Right, yeah, look, do you reckon that's the original miles, 3,422? I see that. That seems crazy, if it is. What's this? Is that your choke? Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know. It's got a work on it. Windscreen wipers. And what's this one? And what's this? Wipers. That's your wipe. Well, you don't manually do your own wipers? Like this? You just have to go like this? Yeah. <laughs> right. It's so, no see what I mean, though, about the seats? Yeah. There's just no central reservation at all. Central reservation? <laughs> central console? Sorry. God, this is a thin steering wheel, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Right. I feel like it's Bakelite. Would they make it out of Bakelite? No, nah, it could just be metal. No, it's plastic, you tit. With, like, a plastic covering. Bakelite? Oh, you're coming in as well. <laughs> it's been bashed to bits. No. Bear, get out the car. Bear! Ah, what are you doing? Bear boy. Is that it? You're setting up home in here? The, th the light from outside. I thought they were it were one big seat, but it's not. No, it's two. it's two. That's what I mean. It's weird. I thought it was just one long seat, like at like the back. No, there's a, there's a gap down the middle here. Yeah. But there's, it's pointless. So, God knows. I like that. It is, it's lovely, this car. I would have this car. Well, maybe not for day-to-day -day use. Anyway, I need to try and work out how to get back out. But like I was saying, the light from in there, just making everything shine horrible. Oh, Bear. Bear boy. You all right? You having a good time? Come on, then, let's go. <laughs> He's trying to get through there, and his legs are just, like, not moving. Bear, do you want a hand? Come here. Give you a hand. Ready? One, two, three. There you go. Ah, he's off. Oh, yeah. So, the one I've just been sat in is a Ford Prefect. Number plate LOF 992. I know some people that watch absolutely love looking at what the cars are. This is so awkward, isn't it? Getting from place to place. It's an absolute nightmare. Right, so did you say this is a Morris? Morris Minor what? It's a Morris Minor Traveller. So I suppose it's a bit like, come away from that window because that window's horrendous. Got a bit of backlight, has it? Can't see you. Um, yeah, I suppose it's a bit like Mini. Clubman. Clubman. That's what they've done, isn't it? They've like put a weird back on it. But the back is wood. Yeah, I know. I've I have seen them. But... That's the front of that 
Ford, what did you say it was? Ford? Ford Prefect. I love that car. I think that car is probably the best one in here that we've seen so far. I, then, I do like that one though. What is it? What's the one behind? Austin A40. An Austin A40? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have a look at both of those when I can I get... Think, I think that's an A40. I think that's an A40. Right. But that one looks like it's been lowered and, and pimped up a little bit for racing because it's got... Really? Yeah. I'm sort of stuck at the moment between cars, so I'm going to have to try and make my way over to you. Right, this is definitely... I know I've, it's the one I've just been inside and I keep going on about it, but look at it. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's a, it's a lovely car, that. It'd be absolutely amazing, polished. Yeah. I love black, polished black cars. Yeah, they it look is. really good. And I think just it's just got style, hasn't it? Like the little wing mirrors on the on that bit, I just think looks <laughs> mad. Can you imagine trying to look through them while you're driving? I know. A really tiny screen and see a really tiny mirror like that. <laughs> yeah. With what, right, what is that windscreen wiper doing? It's, it's give up the ghost, hasn't it? The, no, I just mean there's not much that it's going to cover, is it? When it lifts up, that... It doesn't really need to, though, does it? It's come to that, eh? Well, yeah, I suppose. So it will go from... Uh, yeah, but you're still going to have a massive bit missing. I know there's another one there. Mm. But, oh, this, these are just... unbelievable. So good. So, these two are the same, then? Yeah, it's an A30. What's it, A30? A400, do you say? Or A40? A40. But have they gone? It, like a lot A40. of these companies, I was thinking like cars. You think of your Audis, your BMWs, all the cars yeah. that, that you know. These would have been like staple cars at one point, weren't yeah. they? Your Austins. I know Fords are still about. Um, what's that one again? Morris. Morris. Like, you don't see them anymore. They've gone. No, Austin, like Austin these ones they went on to austin princess didn't they can you remember me, old austin my princess? dad had an austin princess a blue yeah. one uh, were were they are they like consumed by other companies though yeah they all get bought out eventually don't they yeah they get rid of them and yeah i suppose it's like lilt and fanta isn't it oh yeah oh. do you drink lilt i used to do well you're not gonna do very soon <laughs> yeah but i got i went off fizzy pop oh yeah i love fizzy oh. pop um anyway this one's newer then this is an a reg in it, yeah. So that I don't. We can seventies, sixties. I'm trying to think what mine was. I think mine was 1974, and it was a an Emridge. So it must be sixties, I think. And this has got the old plate on the back. Box. Yeah. So this is an older one. I oh, know that's still an F Ridge though. It's still F. Yeah. So that's like this one's older than this one, but they've put the old style plates on, yeah. like these ones. One, two, three, MMP. That's going to be 50s. I bet that number plate's worth a fortune, you know. Yeah. Like, people buy the those, don't they? And then you've got 2606 SP. Yeah. And that could be someone's date of birth, 26th of the 6th. Yeah. And their initials, like, people spend a lot of money just on number plates. But, yeah, see what you mean? It's all been, like, made to look a bit racery, hasn't it, yeah, this it one? Yeah, it like it's been lowered. It's had wide wheel arches on. It's probably got wider wheels. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell this one's slightly higher up than this one. Yeah. Yeah, and I see what you mean with the the, the wheel arches. arches. Yeah. That's like a, a, a family car, isn't it? It's a shame. We yeah, have done it like that. Oh no, I like that. I, prefer... I don't like it, but I yeah, prefer. I prefer I always. I, always prefer, I prefer this one to this one. What's it say on the side? Norfolk. Norfolk. What? What's that word? 11 years, 11 yes, mm, ye my years, I'm not sure what that says. It's some sort of uh, race minute. Yeah, like racing. Oh, look, they've got the number plate on the front as well, on a stickery thing. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, they've done this for track days or whatever, haven't they? Yeah, definitely. This is good, though, Andy. I really, oh, oh, I really, really like this. This is another one of those that we were looking at. Oh, it's a... It's a Talbot. Oh, is it a Talbot? I don't know if it is. It says Supreme Sunbed. Oh no, Su Supreme Sunbeam. Sunbeam. So is it Supreme that's the, the make? You know that one further up where it said Talbot on it? Yeah. Oh, look at the boot. Oh, 
all the stuff that's been in there all these years. Much that, you? No, you don't. But yeah, so is Su is the car make Supreme? No, Talbot's don't make the car. No, because Talbot makes vans, like lorries and stuff, don't they? Yeah, they also make cars. Yeah, no. But what I'm saying is, it doesn't say. Oh, it didn't say Talbot. Talbot on it, but it's the same logo. And it says Supreme, and both of them say Supreme. But that one says Talbot. But it says Talbot Summer. Like, come here, come here. On this front bit here, you've got the logo at the front. Yeah. And it says Sunbeam there, yeah. and Sunbeam there. And then above this logo, it says Supreme. On the other one, it says Talbot there, and something else there, and Supreme above. So it makes me think the actual Unless car is a Supreme. One of them's an earlier version. What? No, because it's like... Before Talbot took over. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I don't. It's weird. Like I said, it seems like the... the it's really long, this car, isn't it? I've only just realised how long it is. What's it like inside? Oh, it smells lovely. Does it? That other one up there smelt really nice. I love the smell of cars. I wonder if this is his favourite two that he's put right slap bang in the middle. This oh, one... No. Oh, I didn't realise they had sunroofs back in the day. <laughs> That's... It must have been an expensive car then. I know. What? Wow. The actual roof line is over the sunroof. That's weird. So you can't actually... Oh, can you... Do you have to, like, push it under somehow? I've got no idea. That's but weird. you've got your roof line there. So yeah, like it in. goes in, in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I don't know then. That is weird. That is weird. Not quite you remember sure. them cars? What used to have indicators? What used to pop out here? I have seen them. You've seen them. I've seen them pop out. They had them on taxis and stuff like that a lot. Let me just get in here. Have a look. So yeah, your sunroof's there, and then. Oh yeah, unless. This, I think this might pull back, you know. Doesn't look... Yeah, no, it doesn't. It doesn't pull back. So I'm very, very confused. Yeah, me too. Oh, that's so good. Wait a minute. It's a... It's one with the gear stick on the wheel. Right. Have you seen the, um, the oh, stick on there? And this wooden... Is it wood, actually? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely wood. I don't know if that... Is that the gear lever? Yeah, I think so. I've got no idea. It's got to be, on it, because there's, no, there's none down there. No. Is it just, like, drive and reverse, and that's it? <laughs> that's all you've got? Yeah, it seems to be. <laughs> like a bleeding turtle. He's stuck. Bear's trying his hardest to get in behind you. Oh, God almighty. <laughs> Oh my lord, you're like a turtle with that thing on your back as well. Oh, no. And then, I don't know if that's a leather steering wheel as well. Oh yeah, it looks like it is from out here. Oh, God, Are these covers though, these things? Yeah. Oh. oh yeah, leather seats oh, underneath. Gone. I, like I said, I reckon that this is... <gasps> this one, he'll oh, move. This one behind and this one are his two favourites. Yeah. I reckon he's put them right in the middle, oh. out, of the, out of the way. Is that a, is that not a handle? That is a, a handle. And oh, it does slide back. You can just see it's sliding back there. All the rope line is knackered. Yeah, so and you I, probably will be able to do it. Give me one sec. No. No. But really good. Like I said, all the temperature gauges oh, slide in. On there. Is that what it is? I can't really yeah, see from uh, where I'm standing. Air distribution, screen for demister, temperature. Screen? Yeah. What do you mean a screen? For, you, for demisting screen. Oh, not YouTube. Not YouTubing. Yeah. And then you've got 60 miles per hour. Oh, oh, is that revs? Oh, that's revs. So you've got an old rev counter the as rev well. the rev counters on all cars? And I don't know what that is. Isn't, there all, isn't the rev counter yeah, on, there is. rev counter on my car? It only goes up to 60, 6,000 revs, I would have thought. And then your miles an hour, which is 100. 
100. It's got 100 miles an hour. Imagine. This will fall to bits at 100 miles an hour. What um, mileage has it got on it? Um, oh, God. 27, I think. 27 miles? 27,191. Mm. Definitely would. I don't know if that... Is that a gear lever? Yeah, I think so. I've got no idea. It's got to be on it, because there's, no, there's none down there. No. No idea. It's got to be on it because there's no, there's none down there. No. Is it just like drive and reverse and that's it? <laughs> that's all you've got. Yeah, it seems to be. <laughs> like a bleeding turtle. He's stuck. Bear's trying his hardest to get in behind you. Oh, God Almighty. <laughs> and then I don't know if that's a leather steering wheel as well. Oh yeah, it looks like it is from out here. Oh, Are these covers though? These things. Yeah. What? Oh yeah. Leather seats oh, just gone. I like I said, I reckon that this is oh, this one. Oh, he'll move. This one behind and this one are his two favourites. Yeah. I reckon he's put them right in the middle, out of the, out of the way. Then you've got the old suicide doors. Oh, why are they called suicide doors? I don't. I'm sure that's what they're called when you open. Oh, I know what. Way. Is it? So you can't jump out. Well, it's going, because if you did, you'd just bump into this. But a normal car, then, technically, you could commit suicide yeah. at the side. You open the door and just jump out and fall behind. Right. I'm not sure where they come suicide it, What's door. that at the side? Is it an ashtray or something? Oh. It is. Yeah. Imagine, I, you know what? I've lived while there's been ashtrays in cars, but it still seems really weird to me that... Yeah, they don't have them now, though, do they? No. They don't have sig lighters now, what? Are you doing mine? There's one in mine. Is there? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. How do you think that I use me wire to charge my phone? Oh, yeah. Mine I got one. Well, mine definitely has. That's an old car. It's not that old, you twat. <laughs> mine just got your USB. I think mine has, actually, because I've got a plug in it. I think there's also one in the boot on mine. Yeah. Like you're going to be sat in your boot smoking. <laughs> <laughs> But, Can you imagine? I know. What What's this one then over here? I feel like you know this one. Although now I've said it. Oh, 1991, the last tax disc on that. Is it? Yeah. Jesus so what's that 32 years ago? Yeah. That's, That's another Wolsey. 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 Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I should have recognised the thing on the hood, to be fair. On the hood? I don't know. Are you American? I don't know why I said that. I said it and it was like instant regret. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, on the hood. In the hood. Yeah. In the and, trunk. Yeah, stick it in the trunk. And the gear shift. <laughs> I already said something like that. I said the stick a minute ago as well. Do you know why? It's this style of car makes me think of... American gangsters. Yeah, that's all it is. That's exactly Bugsy what Malone. it is. Yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying it. But they are cool. Look how cool some of these are. They're just, just so good. And then this, I've been waiting to get to this one down here. And then I know you are as well. This van. Oh, it's all wood lined inside as well. It they don't, makes me think of ice cream. I don't know why. <laughs> it's something ice about cream. it. Oh. Yeah. You've seen it, the wood panelling inside. Yeah. Need to go and have a look. <laughs> Is it a sweet? Is it a Skoda? With one seat. Yeah, it's because it, it was like a delivery van though, weren't it? So you wouldn't need more than one seat. You might be able to get in better around there. I'll come and have a look around. Right, so looking at the front, it's a Morris van. I didn't know Morris Miners did vans, so it's not Morris Miner, like Morris is it? Morris Miner, no. Just Morris. It's an ugly thing though, isn't it? Oh, I like it, me. I feel like I've had toys like this before. You probably have, yeah. Like the little metal... Little dinky toys. Yeah. Let's see if I can... It wouldn't have been dinky, would it, when I would had, had them? It would have been corgi, would it? Might have been. I can't remember. Well, corgi or dinky toys? Dink, I'm sure dinky's matchbox. before my... Matchbox. Might have been matchbox. But... There's barrels in here. There's bar... Oh, God. There's barrels around the side of it. Oh, Andy. Yeah? This is weird. When you were just saying this a minute ago... What's that? Look what's on here. All oh, the indicators. Yeah. That's mad, isn't it? That's weird. You need to stop standing near light. You're like Jesus or something. There's glowing behind you. Oh. All right, let 
Let me see if I can get in here. Now, when we were looking at the back, it looks lovely, doesn't it, with the wooden bits? Or even the roast wood. Yeah. Well, it's if it's like a Morris, weren't it that Morris? Traveller. Yeah, that it's the same the sort of thing, isn't it? But yeah, look how basic this is. There's no six track bloody <laughs> CD player in here, is there? Six track? Six, six disc multi-changer. Who has six? You have like 24, not six. I have 24 discs. Why would you not? Have you got 24 discs in yours? Well, no, because I've not got a CD player because I'm not in 1927. Okay. You have? No, I haven't. You have? No, I've got a disc slot. It's not for CDs. It's for my... Um, discs. For my navigation system, thank you very much. You've got a CD player. It's not as it might be, but I don't use it. <laughs> I told you know nothing about your no, car. No, I don't know anything about my car. I know nothing about cars in general, but... No, I, nobody uses a CD when I had, player. When I had, exactly. When I had a six, Citroen Saxo... When you had a six-track. <laughs> when I had a Citroen Saxo, I had a 24-disc stranger. Did you? Yes. Why would you have six? Limit yourself. Oh, I've never seen, never known a 24-CD. How big, what thing? Like this? Not that big. It's big. Have you seen the gear stick? What is that? And the handbrake. How do you know which gear you're in? The floor's wood. I've never seen the floor of a car or a van being wood before. No, that, that's gearbox there, look. Imagine, it, what, are they? Oh, no, it's not. It's, um, that's crankshaft. Oh, right, you've gone well over my head now. Yeah. Crankshaft? What's a crankshaft for? It's... To shaft the crank. It, as it moves around like that, well, as, as pistons it... go up and down like that, and and then pistons go up. It, I'm not going to go into as it. As it goes up and down like that, it goes round and round like that. That is the worst yeah. description of anything I've as ever the heard. The crankshaft goes round, the pistons go up and down, which then combusts the petrol or the diesel, which drives the car or powers the car. I feel that that's oversimplification just it for is. my purpose. And the title of, a, of the old car or uh, of the old combustion engine was "Suck, Squeeze, Bang, Blow." Don't want to know. Suck the petrol in, <laughs> squeeze it, compresses it, which ignites it, which is a bang, and then blows it out. Suck, right. squeeze, bang, blow. That's how we used to remember How it. does that move something forward? The explosion. So you're basically working off explosions. Yeah, that's what it is. I don't know why you think that's ugly at all. I think that's really nice. It's like frog eyes. Yeah, that's why I like it. They're like the old-fashioned, old, old cars, though, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. What's this one with the really... What? Oh! Starting crank. Yeah, so it's got to be old then, hasn't it? Yeah. KKR 828. I'd like to get an age on that as well. Jesus Christ. Well, starting handle. Yeah. Well, we so we went to see some cars somewhere else and something had got a starting handle. I think that were a taxi, weren't it? Yeah, I think it were. So, what's this one with the really squat back? Over there, the black thing. It's got an ah with... Feathers Austin. on it. Is it, an Austin? Is it an Austin? I don't know. I'm going to walk 16 miles. I don't know how you get round. Oh, this is madness. Just to get to this little black car, and you'll go, yeah, it's an Austin. I'll go, all right then, that's fine. Yeah, it does. I think it is with that on. This one's seen better days, though, hasn't it? Definitely. Got nothing on it to say what it is. Has it not? No. I'm sure it's an Austin. But yeah, this one's been absolutely ravaged. There's nothing inside it or anything. There's no dash on it. The springs appear to be on there. Not that I know what... Projects again, isn't it? What are the springs for? Suspension. Oh yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, they're all... all pro there's a lot... Of what are you doing? That camera's just going to get absolutely hammered. Yeah, a lot of projects down at this end, by the looks of things. Yeah. All the good stuff in the middle and then more projects up at the other end. Right, let's get outside. So where's all the good stuff in? Yeah, so you can't, it can't be nicked or anything. Yeah, which is good. Yeah, no, we don't want it to be. I once again, I to start anyway, but. Once again, you stood with lights behind you. Every single time. What's this one? I feel I recognise this, the front of this. Yeah, I do as well. But I don't know what it is. No. Go up round the back, we'll work it out. Right, so you know when I told you to go around the back to see what sort of car it was? Yeah, it's a scrapping. <laughs> well, at least it's well insulated. <laughs> Keep you warm while you're driving. 
Oh, is that all about? I need to get a shower in it. Put your own shower oh, in look, That looks like someone's been ready to do that house up next door or something. Yeah, I bet it is, because they've got a bath here as well. Yeah. Two baths. And all these, this stuff here. It's like they've given up on it. Well, we've got three mobility scooters to start with. I don't know, really know why they're in Lucky here. Race, isn't it? Yeah. O'Reilly. What's O'Reilly? Oh, I feel like there's cats. Because there's paw prints on the front of there, look. Yeah. If Bear sees a cat, we're in trouble. That is the same as that one in there, look. Oh, yeah. But that's a one that's in a lot better condition. Yeah, well. Sunbeam Talbot, Talbot Sunbeam. Where does it say Talbot? Oh, it does say Talbot on this one. It didn't on the other one. No. It just said Sunbeam. So maybe we've proved it. Maybe this is a later one. But what's a Riley? I've heard of Riley's. I've never heard of Riley's. But look, look at the cat footprints up there. And the bird shit. Right, I'm going to try and get round this side of this one. Right. KXS 903. Look, it does say on there, Sunbeam. Tol it doesn't say Talbot on the front. But then on this one... It does. Some beam tall, but 90. Oh, look, you can see how long it is since people have been down here. There's cobwebs all over. It's vile. But this one, yeah, got a sunroof as well. Yeah. Like the other one. Oh, look at the state. Let's have a look it's inside. It's all cream, this one, instead of that other one, yeah. that other one red. I can't think. I can't think what it were like. But, yeah, look at all the different... I can't see... Where was the mileage? Oh, yeah. 90,000 this one's done. 90,000 miles. What does it say on the back? It's got a GB sticker on it. So they've obviously gone abroad in it at it some like point. Took it to classic car shows and stuff. Well, yeah. But what a shame though, that things like this are just sat here, wasting away. I mean, does that have any rust on it as well? No. There's a bit under, under arches, but like bottom of doors and sills and stuff, they're all solid. I said tyres don't look bad, they look like they're not perishing. But got the indicator comes out again. Has it? Yeah. Did that other one have one of those? I don't know, I didn't see it because it's it's Oh yeah. <laughs> sits sits in between. It sits in between, yeah. Oh yeah. That's mad. And then let's try and work out what this one was then. What did we see it said at the front? Riley. Riley. There's no wire wheels on it. Why are we? Oh, yeah. Are we MGs that used to have them? MGs used to have wire wheels, yeah. See, I do know something. Well, well, well I've got eyes anyway, put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> they don't work very often, they're a bit like mine. Oh, wow. That's a slightly bigger boot, isn't it? Yeah. But it's still not going to get loads in it. Get one suitcase in, that's it. And yeah. Picnic, picnic basket. What are these things for outside? Hinges. No, that's not a hinge. This, come here. You know, if you look at the other side, you're probably not going to see what I'm talking about. That. It's a hinge. A hinge for what? For the door, you div. How? Oh, yeah. Fair enough. I know some things apart from a hinge on a door. <laughs> you're an idiot. You're an absolute idiot. Oh, oh Andy, what's that? Bonnet. It's a racing car bonnet. It's got a British flag on it and a and a Chrissy Cross one on it. Yeah. What's the Chrissy Cross got one called? Um, checkered flag. Checkered flag. Yeah, but that's like a really old racing car bonnet, isn't it? Over there. There's is there two of them. One on top yeah, of another. Okay. Uh, anyway. God, I love this. <laughs> How many of these cars would you? If you had to keep one of what we've seen so far, which would you have? Um, it's either going to be the black Ford. Yes, my favourite. Or this. Yeah, this one is good. Or like this one. I'd choose the black one over this yeah. one. But Say that, any. <laughs> okay, you can have the one where there's just a steering wheel and a bush up there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. I'll just sit sit on a, ca on a deck chair in my garden. <laughs> uh, they're all wings as well. Yeah, no. I can't no, I can't get this way. We'll have to go back the way we've come. What is that? Get a lift. Oh, 
with the parts Is and it? the chassis. Yeah. Shift your arm, you can't see. Yeah, but what's that from, look? It's, is it one of them beach buggy things? Could be. Look at the number plate on the front and the big goggle eye bits. It reminds me of one of those, I don't know now though. VW beach buggies. VW things, the yeah. Bugs. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. That that will go on the front of here. Yeah. It's just been pushed back off it, hasn't it? Just be careful. Look at all this stuff as well. There's just stuff chucked everywhere. Yeah, that's more likely the one that you'd have. That's cut and shut, though, isn't it? <laughs> just a little bit. Wow. Oh, you know what? This place would be amazing. Like, if they cleared out all this rubbish, because there's piles of rubbish, there's a lovely little lake there. Yeah. There's the house around the front where we started, which I would knock down and build a brand new one. Yeah. And then all these barns and this land, it'd be fantastic on here. Such a shame. This right. Looks, this looks new, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Let's head to the back and work our way back the other way. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. It's the Red Arrows. As if we've seen the Red Arrows. <laughs> oh, imagine if they put that in the smoke for us. That'd be good, oh, wouldn't yeah. it? Oh, yeah. That's really good. Big bears off up there. Yeah, see what I mean? It's so lovely. And you've got all these more cars. These are ones that are like newer and stuff that they've just let to go rack, rack and ruin. Although that one's not new. Look at that thing there. Oh God, oh look at that. Yeah, no, not that. Isn't that something to do with certain rights? And a group of people. LGBTQ plus. <laughs> no, look. Is that where you put your petrol in? You didn't no, put your petrol in. Water. Water? Radiator. Oh, I'm falling. I've got my shoelace stuck on this. Oh, oh right. So it goes in there, and I'm guessing that's the radiator at the front. Yeah. Is it to keep you warm? I don't really understand the process. You have to bleed of... it every now and then to get the air out. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> What is this then? I've got no idea. I don't know what this is. Uh, this, this has got those tyres on there, look. With the spoky bits. Why wheels? Yeah. Oh, it's had the badge took off it, whatever it is. But they like their MGs. There's a few MGs knocking about. Worth a fortune. What, MGs? Yeah. Are they? Well, I didn't think they were. MGB GT. I mean, that one, MGB GT. Yeah. I mean, it's not in that state, but... <laughs> Do them up. You probably still get about a grand for that. I'd say that one's more like a boat than a car because it's got no wheels. This one, I think this is MGB GT. That looks like an old Reliant. Right. Now, oh, is that another one of those? That's another one of those we're looking at inside. Yeah. The Austin. I like them, you know. There's something about that. If it is an Austin, I think this one's got a badge on it. Oh, there's nothing on it there. Morris Miners. Oh, is there? Yeah. MGBGT. Stop oh. saying NGBTGPT. This will probably still be worth a few bob in this condition. Yeah, because it's still got the seat. The seats itself would be worth money, won't it? They yeah. rip things like that out of them. But yeah, there's loads, look. That's got Batman in it. What is this then, did he say? I thought that were Reliant. Oh, that one. Well, they aren't they the same? Don't They're exactly the same. Yeah. It'll tell you on the back. Surely it'll tell you on the back. There's a boat here. There's all sorts of stuff. Oh no, there's no badge. It's like debadged or never had a badge in the first place. Weird. I don't know. I sort of like those ones as well. Is this not? Oh no. That's a Reliant. That's a Reliant Scimitar. Scimitar, yeah. yeah. The Reliant Scimitar. It's a similar look to those, actually. Yeah, that's what I thought it were, but it's not. Because right. I used to like these. And there's, there was another one called a Jensen Interceptor. A Jensen Interceptor? A Jensen in in Interceptor, which is a similar shape, but it's longer. It's got more glass on it. But they're worth an absolute fortune. I love them. Are they? Yeah. I'll, these are fiberglass. Oh, God. Would they not just ignite, though? No. No, would not fiberglass just melt? It will just melt. Yeah, so you don't really want a fire in that, do you? Got all sorts of planes and stuff coming over the top of us. I keep hearing them. But... Yeah, I love the yeah. Fiberglass. Oh yeah, I suppose they are, aren't they? Yeah, I love these. Oh look, they're back round again. That's 
really cool. But Andy, it just made me notice something. We need to come back to these cars in a minute. When I've just panned over there, yeah. look what I've just seen. Look what's next to that modern caravan. Oh yeah. It's a little, little old caravan. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, look at this. How good is this? I'd love to do one of these up and just go round all over in it. With a horse? Yeah. Well, Rachel's got an horse. They don't pull stuff like this. To be though. fair, Rachel's horse wouldn't pull this. Rachel's but probably pull this. You I'm going to smash your teeth in. You she's take. stronger than me. She pulled this. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, she's stronger than both of us put together. So, look at it, though. Look at the brakes on it. I didn't realise they had actually got brakes on them. Fuck them, yeah, they put a foot on it to stop it. Oh my god. So you can't do it with the hands because it's doing it off. Oh, so this is front. Oh, yeah, look. That's the best lock I've ever seen, that. Right. Gonna have a look. Inside. Oh, Andy. It's amazing in here. The, oh, original? Yeah, there's a little oil lamp in here. Can you get. Oh, don't push me off. Oh, look. How warm is it in there? It is, you put your hand in, it's a totally different temperature. But you've got big brass, like, handles. It's all, they'll all be handmade this, won't it? Yeah. And then, oh, the oil lamp and the shiny wooden floor. That's yes. so good. Somebody's been having a barbecue in there, isn't it? Gas canisters. Oh, really? That's, that's, a, that's a camping stove. And that bed at the back. Imagine living in here, though. It'd be so good, wouldn't it? How romantic is it? No, oh, you know, I'm not living in here with you. But it would be lovely. It, the temperature's just ridiculously so warm. warm. It really is. But then again, it is in caravans, though, doesn't it? When it no. Yeah, but you'd think this wouldn't be as much because it's very thin. And it's not, like, double-layered. It might be double-layered, I don't know. But, yeah, look at, look at it. So, so good. It smells good in here, to be fair, as well. Right, I'm going to close it up because I don't want any damp and water getting back in it. So I'll leave it how we how we found it. You might have to shut that. There we go. Look. Put the lock on. Yeah. And you put that back one in as well. So, but yeah, just look the little handles to pull yourself in and things like that, and the old locks and stuff. It's so good. What was that bit before there? Candles. You reckon? Lights. Yeah, some sort of light and then you've got all the big wooden wheels and everything as well so good proper impressed proper it's impressed. definitely original that isn't it? yeah it is look at that how old do you think that is early 1900s i reckon yeah early 1900s well it's still got the proper cartwheels and stuff on it and it as well do you know what i mean still walk. obviously they've got the, the foot rubber Round them, but those would have been the original metal ones, wouldn't they? Yeah, probably underneath. I reckon somewhere between 1900 and 1940. That, like, because obviously they do did still build newer ones. Yeah. Later on, but I'm not sure. It's hard to tell, in it. It's yeah. so good though. Yeah, it's not like you can just look at number plate on it. No. <laughs> metal. Look at the little window and everything. Yeah, that'll be like storage, won't it? That's basically the boot for it. Right. Oh, they're going around there and they're putting the smoke out. Smoke out now, yeah. Yeah, they're doing it just for us. It's all specially for us. Do you know we're here? Yeah. They'd look down and think, look at them two fat cunts down there. They must be fine as beepers. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> right, let's go look at the rest red of these one, cars. Red one, red two, red two. Do you know what I know the commander of? Well, I know the son of the commander of the Red yeah. Onions. Why do I want to call him the Red Onions? <laughs> red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> Let's keep going and have, have a look up there then. to the, the caravan. The caravan of love. <laughs> you want it to be. Everybody make a stand. 
Join the caravan of love. It's a good Stand job you're not up. good at singing, otherwise Stand we'd get up. done for copyright claims. Yeah. Karaoke voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're in a different country and they don't understand what Ka you're saying. Karaoke. <laughs> right, what's this? Future of comedy. You're an idiot. What is this? Austin Maestro. An Austin Maestro? Yeah. Isn't that relatively new? Yeah, it's not that. I've made that up. You're an idiot. Yeah, the thing is, you could tell me anything. Oh, look. This is a Jowit Javelin. I like that name. Jowit Javelin. I would definitely have a Jowit Javelin just so I could say I got a Jowit Javelin. Oh, I don't want to know about your Jowit Javelin, thank you very much. I wish these red arrows would go away now. They've been very loud. Just trying to, I can't even see them. Where are they? Over there. I'm trying to get on with doing some work and they're just flying round, causing bother. I fell over. <laughs> While looking up. <laughs> Is this a Bentley behind you? No, not that. Oh, you know the number plate. That's a Bentley, isn't it? Yeah. That'll be worth a fortune. TGO 158 Bentley. Oh, look at this. Now that one I would have. Oh, oh. It's bench seats as well. It smells like abandoned houses in there. Damp. Yeah, definitely. Look at that. 78,000 on clock. Demist lights. It's got a radio in there, which I didn't expect. Yeah. Let's have a look around the back. Oh, this has got a GB thing on as well, so they must have been travelling. Oh, it's you can tell the quality though, because they've got the badges on the back things, bumpery things. Oh, I don't think you can get in that. That's a shame. It's a massive boot there. <laughs> imagine, imagine opening it up and there's. I was going to say something really bad then. Apparently she's in Poland. Um, but, yeah, look, all the little things like the hubcaps and stuff are all customised yeah. as well. You can tell the quality of it, really. It's really, really good. Oh, I can't get in this side. But yeah, full leather interior. It's like jammed shut in here. Yeah. Oh, proper classic. Absolute classic. What? <laughs> Nissan Micra. <laughs> Nissan Micra. I about that. Vauxhall Cavalier. Oh, Vauxhall Cavalier. Um, oh, it's on, not. Is it not? The Vauxhall Senator. Oh, I've heard of them, I think. I had one of them. Did you? Did you have one of these? I had the three litre, I not the 2.5. Wow. Yeah, I'll tell you something, it's shifted. Well, it would do if it were a three litre. Three litre, but it's a massive car. Yeah. It was automatic and kick back on it because you used to put your foot down and it used to get it down like two or three gears and it went off. And it really? <laughs> What a shame these cars are like they are though. Like I, I said. Some of these should be in museums. Yeah. Oh, some of them definitely should. Like these, they're like 10 a penny. You see them all over the place. Old yeah. When I say 300 SL or SEL that. That means nothing to me. What, what is... Either 300 or 500. What are all these letters for? I don't know. You don't know? 500 SE, I told you. 500 SE. So what's... I thought it might be something injection. There's a boat in it. Why is there a small bow in it? Um, yeah, like I think we'd understand it if it was like something injection. Or, yeah. But what's the SE for? It's like the, the BMWs, isn't it? Like the 320i's, the 330i's, and I suppose, I suppose it's, it's, it's on like an Audi A4. Yeah, or what's, whatever. What, yeah, what's what's the A4 stand for? Well, yeah. What's the A stand for? Audi. A class. So it's an Audi Audi A4. It's A class. Mercedes A class, C class, B class. Yeah, it's just the different standards, isn't it? <laughs> God, imagine. Oh, what's this then? This has got the keys in it. That did you hear that pigeon then? Yeah. It bounced off the inside of that kind of window that? in there. But yeah, this has got the keys in it, Andy. See them just dangling down in there. Did we got one. <laughs> imagine. Took it for a rally down here. <laughs> What is that thing over there? Cresta. Something Cresta. I thought that was American man. It's on a, it's, it looks high, like big like an American car, but it's yeah. on something, isn't it? It's on a trailer to pull it away. It's oh, it's a Vauxhall, that. A Vauxhall Cresta. Oh, a Jowett Javelin. Is, yeah. I like Jowett Javelins. 
Yeah, Vauxhall Cresta. I've never heard of a Vauxhall Cresta. Me neither, before my time. Yeah. I've heard of a lot of these cars, but not. I think I've heard of Jowett Javelin before I've seen this, to be fair. Have you? I, I haven't. I think I have. It's one of the ones I have. What is this? What's this supposed to be? Oh, this one here. <laughs> don't you like it? You don't like these though, do you? Like the round... I don't like the frog eyes. Oh, eyes I do. Like. I prefer that. I definitely prefer that. I... Just before we go any further, what is this? It might be a plough, you know. Not sure. What what were the planes at this side? And some gun going off at that side. Enough to put my nerves on edge. As long as we're not in Basra or somewhere like that. <laughs> Basra? Right. I'm Baghdad. Going right. I were in Baghdad when you were in your dad's bag. <laughs> That's disgusting. You can't see them. I can't, can't. I can hear them. Oh, they're over there. They're over at that side there, look. Coming back round. They're definitely on training exercises, aren't they? Yeah, I don't practice from that. Then. Yeah. Right, we're heading round from these, round the caravan to see if we can find a way into the other barn next door. There's not very much in this caravan, apart from there was uh, some desks in there, like school desks, but that's about it. Oh, there's a, people pay for these though, you know, for Land Rovers, old Range Rovers and Land Rovers and stuff. People pay decent money for them. Oh, minion as well, they really don't rust. Yeah, but they bang about. Have you ever been in one? Yeah, my brother they, had one with bench seats in back. You break your spine just they, going yeah, for a drive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. But it is really good. Like, I would have that. They go anywhere, though, Land Rovers, diesel Land Rovers. Yeah, definitely. And they pull stuff as well. They're strong for yeah. what they are. Anyway, let's keep looking up here. Andy, look at that in front of you. Crazy. Got wheels here. Oh well, yeah, absolutely loads of them. No, this that is it. It's a Ford. It's got wooden wheels. How old is that? If it's a Ford with wooden wheels? I have no idea. That's got to be turn at be at nineteenth century. That nineteenth century. Nineteen hundred. Bloody hell! It's not that old. But yeah, is that a Dodgem? <laughs> There's a Dodgem over there. But yeah, look at this. It's got a wooden dashboard. It's very basic. It's done 20,000 miles. I wonder if this is a Model T form. Yeah, but aren't they like the original? Yeah. Original and best. Look at that, with a crank as well, yeah. That is mad. I have never seen a car. Oh, it's got... Those are not wooden. No. But the back ones are wooden. This one's wooden. Oh, no. Yes. Yeah, just that one that's not wooden. Maybe they've just put that on to move it. It's not like original. But yeah, you've never seen a car with wooden wheels before. I know it's in a right state. Imagine, you'd have to sit, because of this tank, you'd be sat right up here, like miles yeah. up in air. I'd sat here, wouldn't you? Yeah. And then- you could have big, big feet, could you? Oh, it's it's left side. Left hand drive. Is it American? Has it been brought over for America? Original Ford brought over from America? I bet this is a Model T Ford. That is mad. That is crazy. That, that has been worth coming for, just that car, because I'd Again, like to why, know... Why? Why do they leave stuff like this? Yeah, exactly. Because it will have cost a fortune to get older all these cars in the first place. Yeah. And then someone must have just died or something. I don't know. I've got no idea. It's, it's mad. just a shame. It really is a shame. It is. Literally, they, they could do it finding, rescuing. Yeah. Even if they just put them somewhere like this thing, just to store them and, and do it that way. Yeah, exactly. Don't leave them outside. Wow. Anyway, I'm going to go and look at the Dodgem. You know what, Andy? I think this Dodgem's old. Looks old. I don't think it's like a new Dodgem. If you come and look around the front, it's all chrome. Oh, my God. They're just circling us. Yeah, look. It's even called, yeah, that's good. Hundred year old? Nah, maybe not hundred. I don't think hundred. I think... I'm not saying that though. Hundreds like 1920s, isn't it? Yeah. I always think of it as as 1900s, me. Like, ni like turn of the century, 1900. What how they run it though? Well, there's a key there. What do you mean you don't know how they'd run it? 
the money on Lecky. Yeah, you stick that in the back. That, that goes in yeah. the thing. They did have electricity in the 1920s. You know this, don't you? What is he doing? You're a little tramp. That camera's just pointing at the sky at the moment. Oh, he's an idiot. Right, let's see if there's a way in there. I don't think there is. I don't think there is. I think that's it's plot, so it's got some good stuff in there. I think so as well. Let's see if we can let's have a try. It up. Right, so we can't get through these doors, and he's just had a go and we can't do it. We just come across this thing. Do you think I think that's something to do with like fire engines or something, me? Like you roll it up and it's got a bucket on there and then somehow you stick your hose on there, look. Don't you think? And is let me say is that the pump? It's not because no to pump to pressure, but it's not, is it? I don't know, I'm not sure what it is. But it's a very weird contraption, whatever it is. I think it's something to do with fire engines, me that. I really do. But I've got no idea. Let's see if we can find another way in here. There's usually like a separate door, isn't there? This bit. Maybe. Well, that's where we've just come out of in there. So maybe go around the other side of the building. The back. Yeah. Right. So we've just spent quite a long time trying to lift that up, which it doesn't. You reckon it might be on some sort of like remote control or something like yeah. that that's broken over the years or whatever. There's no way of getting in from inside the building. There's no way of getting in from the opposite side of the building. No, no windows or anything in the back. No, but it looks like at some point in history they've boarded up the middle bit like you used to be able to get through. It used to be all one unit. Yeah, so it's a bit weird. So there's no way, so no idea what's in this massive bit. Imagine this could be like even better, like Rose. more. Exactly, amazing I mean, cars. Like bread rolls, I mean, Rolls Royce. <laughs> well, no, that'd be a bread cake. Who calls it a roll? Bread roll, bread cake. You're a weirdo. Tea cake. Don't start this argument. Apple comment, cake. comment down below. Is it a bread cake, a tea cake, a roll, a balm, a bap? Tell me what it is. <laughs> right. Anyway. You have about fifteen million comments now from all over country. I know. Region specific. Exactly. Anyway. We're going to go, we're going to head out of here because I think we've pretty much seen it all if we can't get in that bit now. And those red arrows still aren't stopped, have they? I know. We need to go on for the dinner. For the fuel that we've been using. <laughs> you know what I mean? Blue greenhouse gases and stuff. Oh. Yeah, but it's for the king and air shows. If it's and... for the king, they want to put some bombs on it. Right, stop it. I love the king. God save the king. I need saving. You need saving. You're going to get a slapping your Off head. his head. <laughs> if he hears me, he'll be sending Coldstream guards around. But with a big fuzzy wuzzy big head. Fuzzy head. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's get my sick car. Right. What were your thoughts on that place? Enjoyed that, me. You know I what? Like a bit of car. You know what? I don't, and I absolutely loved it. And I think I said this last time we went and did one. <laughs> Even though yeah. I don't like cars, like if you went to me, let's go to a car show, I'd be yeah. like, Fuck off, no chance. But actually, just, I don't know, it's, I suppose, the history side of it again, though. Like, one, why it's dumped there. Two, who used to drive it. That side of things. It's like... It's a waste. It is. It it's is. A complete waste. Some of those cars would make a lot, like, people very happy. Yeah. Wouldn't they? But Definitely. They just sat there rotting away. It's such a shame. Anyway, we have got... I'm going to try and put it so you can see... I think you'll get the notification up here. Our other car video that we did. So if you did enjoy it, there's another one to watch for you that you might not have watched previously. Yeah. Uh, also, get over to our second channel if you like car stuff. £150 car video where we drove to Marrakesh. Brilliant. Yes, it was a good one. Well, I'm always thinking. Uh, so, yeah, if you've not had a chance to watch that series, I feel that, in my opinion, that's the best series we've ever done of anything. Really, really good. We I love do. doing it. I do. So, did. Yes. Potentially may do in the future. You just never know. You never know. I say, if you do like the car stuff, let us know. If you don't, let us know. Yeah. Like I said, it's not something that makes me excited to think about, but I did enjoy doing it. And if you do like it, I don't mind doing it again, just for you. Just you. We're not doing it every week no. or every month or something. We'll... Like one a year. Is one it? a year, twice a year, if it's really, yeah. really good. But that's about it. That's it. Right, we're off. We love you very much. And we will see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.